The other day I went to the hairdressers, um, to, I don't know whether you know it, to Arthur's on the High Street in Addiscombe. And uh, as usual, uh, I started to chat a bit about uh, what's going on for me in my life. And I was chatting to the hairdresser and they were telling me about their kids applying for a school place in the neighbourhood. And we, you know, just chatting. And I, I, said to, I said to them, I said, you must hear an awful lot of people chatting when they when they come in if they open up to you it's oh yeah we, we you know people start to talk you know when we're doing the hair they start to tell us what's going on in their lives so i thought it's really interesting i said what what kind of things do they ask and uh, what do you think you know what do they talk about and they said to be quite honest most people just talk about the fact they just want to be happy that's what comes through they want to be happy if there was a sum up you know everything that that they're about. Bottom line, this person said, actually, they just want to be happy. That's how they understood it. And I'm guessing that you want to be happy. And I'll tell you, I want to be happy. But kind of, what is happiness? How do we measure happiness? Um, what makes us happy? We wish each other a happy birthday, a happy anniversary, or, you know, that sort of thing. But what does it feel like to be really happy? Um, well, I've got a few suggestions here, which are not mine, but actually come from the Bible. And Jesus was teaching his friends how to be happy from a very different sort of angle, as if it was not something which was just sort of on the outside, a kind of a, just a, a, a lovely feeling, but actually something much more deep down something which would make us truly happy rather than just happy for a moment. And so I'd like to share with you just one or two things that Jesus said about us being happy. You're happy when you're at the end of your rope. With less of you, there is more of God and of his rule. You're happy when you feel you've lost what is dear to you, and only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're happy when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. You're happy when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's food and drink in the best meal you'll ever eat. You're happy when you care. At the moment of being careful, you find yourselves cared for. You're happy when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That's when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. Do any of those ring true for you? That's the sort of happiness I want and that's the sort of measure with which I'll be measured as to whether I've lived a happy life. 